Hey everybody, it's Bob Thompson, Thompson Brand Images Photography, and we're breaking down headshots one video at a time. Today I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about the outdoor headshot, why you'd want one, and how to make it come out better if you're going to take this on yourself. So I'm filming this literally on my front porch. Uh, my front yard sprawls out behind me with all the trees and scenery out there. You may hear a car or two go by because, well, I live on a street, right? But the point I want to make is this. One condition that makes a fantastic outdoor headshot is when you are in the shade on a big, beautiful, sunny day like we have in Florida here. We're pretty close to the middle of the day. Sun's high in the sky, and typically you hear folks say, no, no, don't shoot in the middle of the day. But when you're in the shade of a brightly lit, sunny day, really nice things happen naturally. I'm using no modifiers or any lighting whatsoever here on this video, kind of giving you an example of what a headshot might look like shot right here on my front porch with this particular background. The other thing I want to point to in a headshot that makes it really effective when there is a background is what we want to do as photographers is we want to separate the subject from the background. And how we do that is by blurring out the background. A couple of ways we do that is the background is far away from behind me, right? So I'm not right up against something. I've got something way, way behind me kind of providing that out of focus feel that keeps the attention on you. The second way that we get that out of focus background is that we zoom in tight with the lens filling the frame with you. The, the tighter we zoom in, the more that background goes out of focus. So the other thing I want to tell you about is why you'd use an outdoor headshot. A lot of times I have people come here to the studio wanting that nice formal indoor studio style portrait and I'll often suggest, hey, you know what, let's go outside, shoot a natural background portrait and you never know where you're going to be able to use that, right? For one thing, it has a bit of a lighter feel, uh, not quite so significant and serious, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And it also takes advantage of the very thing we love most about Florida, which are these gorgeous scenes and this beautiful sunshine we enjoy almost every day. So that's a little bit about the outdoor headshot. Hope that helps. If I can help you with your headshot and your image, don't hesitate to call or email. Bob Thompson, Thompson Brand Images. Thanks.